All right, here we go. We got Brooklyn's finest in the building. Yeah. Zab Judah, former champion in a bunch of different categories. Welterweight, junior welterweight, super welterweight, 44 wins, 30 by KO, which you don't really see in this weight range at all. 10 losses, two no contests. And someone who I've actually interviewed before I even launched Vlad TV. Back in like 2007. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were yeah, at Justin's restaurant. Yeah. I remember you had the yellow Lamborghini back then. Yeah, yeah. Well, man, listen, uh, first of all, congrats on all your success since then. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Know, it, you made many millions since yeah. that time. Had a lot of fun, man. A lot, a lot of, of fun, fun. supporting yeah. your family. Yeah, definitely. Uh, congrats, man. Appreciate congrats. It. Well, we've done other interviews, but this is our first real sit down. Mm. So I want to get into your whole story. So you grew up in Brooklyn. Was it Brownsville? Brownsville, Brooklyn, yeah. Brownsville. That's where Mike Tyson came from. Yeah, Mike Tyson and Rick Bull. We got to know, in fact, uh, me, Tyson, and Rick Bull is we got the only city or town in the world that have three undisputed um, champions in the same city. Wow. <laughs> that's Mike saying Tyson, a lot. Mike Tyson, Rick Bull, Zab Judah. Undisputed. You know, that's, that's one of, I mean, there's a lot of world champions in the world, but uh, Undisputed is a very um, prestigious title because a lot of people don't do it. That means that in, you know, there's different titles in, 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 in every weight class. That means that you got all of the titles by yourself and nobody else got nothing. Right. It's usually all three belts, right? Right. And for those that don't know, Brownsville, I say, is probably the roughest area in New York. Some people say that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember driving through Brownsville. You don't really want to pull over and hang no, out. No, you just yeah, want to keep not, going. That's not a pit stop. <laughs> it is that's definitely not a, not a pit, pit stop. stop. It's definitely a stop that you know you know somebody and you stop there. If you don't, keep going. Yeah, I mean, MOP, I yeah. think, really gave the soundtrack yeah. to Brownsville and really illustrated the, yeah. the grit uh, of that city. Um yeah, well, congratulations on making it out of there. I'm sure a lot of your friends did not. Yeah. <laughs> well, your dad, Yoel Judah, mm -hmm. am I pronouncing it right? Yeah. Uh, he's actually a six-time kickboxing champion mm -hmm. and a seventh-degree black belt. Mm -hmm. So he was a bad motherfucker. He's a ninth-degree black belt. Ninth degree, my bad. Yeah, Shotokan Jiu-Jitsu. Okay. He ain't nothing to play with. No, not, not at all. <laughs> So you grew up in this type of kind of martial arts environment. Mm. What was that like seeing your dad early on, you know, be into that? Um, it was dope. I actually had a story, I had an epiphany one time when I was um, I was young. I was carrying my, my dad's belts to the ring because he let us carry the belts to the ring. And, mm. um, and, and it, we, we were actually in, in Madison Square Garden and walking out to the ring. I was saying, Judah. And I was like, but it felt like they was talking to me. And I was like, <laughs> I got to lock on to my dad. I thought I was like, you know, like, I felt like that was me. And he looked, you know, you know, we was young, so he was like, yeah, don't worry about it. Keep working hard, kid, and one day it'll be you. And look at that, deja vu. <laughs> well, you have uh, nine brothers yeah. and two sisters. Four sisters. Four sisters? Yeah, yeah. Ten brothers and four sisters. Wait, ten brothers? Oh, I, I got Pops all Pops added on to the family. Oh, okay. <laughs> my, my, sources, uh, my sources were definitely old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ten brothers four and, and four sisters. Yeah. So you're the 15th sibling. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm actually the fourth. Okay. In line. Okay. And your dad is a, was a black Hebrew Israelite? Yes. So explain what that is exactly. Um... He's a black Hebrew. Um, he's he's, he's a, um, a black Jew. Um, <laughs> it's deep. Israelite. Hebrew, a Hebrew Israelite. Because yeah. right, I'm Jewish myself. Yeah. Uh, and I've been to Israel yeah. a couple of times. And yeah. you, see, you see Ethiopians mm -hmm. in Israel because mm -hmm. I guess at one point they figured out the DNA mm -hmm. and some Ethiopians matched uh, you know, the, GA, the DNA for Judaism. So they opened up the um, floodgates. The, the floodgates to, to bring mm -hmm. him in. Uh, is that kind of connected to that, or is it something a little bit different? Um, no, yeah, it's 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 somewhere it's it's somewhere in it, you know, 
you know, I'm a Christian now. I was born and raised it, but you know, as time go on and life evolves, you just you learn different things. And my grandmother was a um, pastor in North Carolina, and <laughs> she was Baptist. She was, you know, Southern, and, and, and I was baptized and Christian, and yeah. Okay, but your dad was Jewish. My dad was, yeah, I was born and raised um, Hebrew Israelite. Okay, so you went to the synagogue and studied and the Torah? Yeah, and... we had our own camp. Yeah, we did all that. Shabbat, Yom Kippur, Passover. I wore my tassels, I, you know, Hanukkah. Yeah. I did everything, bro. I, you know, you know, just when you got older, I just was a... I, more, I was older, younger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My, but my grandmother made a transition when I was younger. And I, I, I just stuck by it. 